Hello and welcome to my channel Grass and Dr. Aditi and today we will talk about interconnection of ammeter and voltmeter. So basically in this topic we have two questions. The first question is why we always connect ammeter in series while voltmeter in parallel and the second question what happens to the circuit if we interchange the position of these two devices means if we interchange the position of ammeter and voltmeter so we will find the answer of these two question in this video okay so let's start so let's have a look on this circuit this is a circuit where an electric motive force emf e is applied this is a battery and it has a here positive terminal and negative terminal okay and there is a resistance in the circuit that is r R is in this circuit and a voltmeter is connected parallelly across the resistance and a, an ammeter in series with the resistance. So first we should know what is an ammeter. Suppose we have applied a voltage E here in this circuit and due to this voltage and this resistance the current flowing in the circuit is I. So current I is flowing throughout the circuit. Now emitter is a device which measures the amount of current flowing in the circuit and the property of emitter is that it has a very low resistance nearly zero. Actually, ideally it should have a zero resistance but you know practical device uh, cannot have uh, zero resistance but it has a very little amount of resistance so that it should not alter the overall resistance of the circuit and gives the actual amount of current flowing through the this resistor R. Okay, So ideally it should have a zero resistance or very low resistance. Now let's come to the voltmeter. Okay, So voltmeter is a device which is used to measure the voltage across a device in a circuit. Suppose you want to measure the potential across this resistor R. You want to know the potential across this resistance R. So we connect voltmeter in parallel of this resistor and measure the exact voltage drop in this resistor R. And ideally the voltage uh, voltmeter should have a very high resistance ideally the resistance of voltmeter should be infinite and practically it should have should have a very high resistance so that current flows through this voltmeter should be zero okay r v should be equal to infinity ideally and R A R ammeter should be zero ideally okay that is why we connect ammeter in series and voltmeter in parallel of a device. Now let's come to the question what happens if we interchange the position of ammeter and voltmeter okay now let's see this now let's interchange the position of ammeter and voltmeter okay now here we will have ammeter in parallel here we will have ammeter in parallel and voltmeter in series and as we all know the resistance of ammeter is zero ideally or very very low in practical and resistance of voltmeter is infinite ideally or very high in practical. Now we have interchanged the position of these two devices. Now the, now, the resistance of ammeter is zero okay. So the current I flowing through this circuit here will find two paths. One is this path through the ammeter and another is this path through the resistor. So it will 
choose the path where it will find the very less resistance or zero resistance so since resistance of emitter r a is equal to zero so all the current will flow through this emitter and no current will go through this resistance r and the current through the through the emitter will be so high so that it would damage the device and it cannot give the actual value of the current flowing in this resistor okay so that is why we never connect emitter in parallel to any device so because it would damage the emitter and it would not give the correct value of current to this resistance r now we see the case of voltmeter when we connect the voltmeter in series in the circuit then suppose here we have connected voltmeter and its resistance rv is equal to infinity ideally hmm so since the overall or equivalent resistance of this circuit will become r plus rv or r plus infinity is equal to infinity so the overall resistance of this circuit would be infinity and the current i will be e by r or e by infinity is equal to 0 so no current will flow through the circuit and voltmeter cannot give the exact value of potential applied in the device that is why we never connect voltmeter in series and emitter in parallel okay so this is the correct answer of our question why emitter is connected in series and voltmeter in parallel okay